Yes, Dunk. Oh, hey, that's it, it's all over. Ed back in the team because of a last minute dropout. 14th man on Thursday, 11th man on the Saturday. Show me your action, Ed. Middle stump. Oh, oh. Yeah. <laughs> I nipped off the bat to the boundary. Ed, give me a cover story. <laughs> oh, my hamstring! <laughs> I'll, I'll toss it, I'll toss it, I'll toss it. This is the first time I've got an audience for the toss. This is a big game, isn't it? First, I've got two teams for an audience for a toss. This has not happened in about 20 years of cricket down here. Walton on the Wolds versus Maher Cricket Club. Big game this. I want to see the spirit of cricket played at all times. Heads or tails? Heads is the call. It's a tail, Stewie, we've won the toss. <laughs> yes, yeah, Stewie. We'll have a bowl. Have a good game. Thank you, beautiful. Stewie, it worked. Double tail coin. Double tail coin worked. Yes. Woo! Hello, sports fans. This is it then, top of the table clash. And we have Scotty umpiring. And as you can already tell from the video, he's going to have a very busy day. As uh, I'm opening the bowling with Steve Canning from the manure end. There's rain in the air. Uh, there's a zip on the wicket. Full toss has been put through the covers by number one batsman. Scotty signals four. So we know this team can bat. They regularly score over 200. I'm thinking, do not bowl half volleys. Anything pitched up just like that, they're just going to have a big go at it. And they'll probably middle it. Oh, I nearly bowled him. It's off the back foot, two, three points. Rain starts to come down as Steve Canning can use the ball from the top end. What a ball, Steve Canning. That did everything. It swung in, it pitched, it went away, hit the outside of the stump. He begged me for a slow motion replay. So here it is, Steve. Have a look at that one. Steve-o, sit at home in your favourite chair, open your pot noodle and replay it over and over again. It was a great ball. So a little rain delay. We've lost at nine overs each, so it's a 31 over match. Steve-o continues to bowl from the top end. Bowling very well. Straight through the gate. How has that missed everything? That's a nice shot. Two through square leg. Oh, that one nipped away. Well kept out. Oh, that's him in front of the middle. Scotty, that's his first one of the day. He's given him two down. Not many runs on the board. Big game this. Oh, well bowled Steve again. How has that not got the outside edge? Oh, back of the bat. Just over at square leg. Just missed his right hand. Oh, pad first. If I only had a review system, I'd have gone upstairs for that one. Oh, that one must be out. No, Scotty says it's hit his pad, but I'm going LBW then. Oh, Scotty says it's outside the line. Oh, my word. So it's still Steve-O from the top end. He's the only person in Wicked Club at the Wicked Bar having a drink. I'd like to join him very soon. Oh, that's what's hit the pad. Is that one hitting? Scotty's giving him as well. That's three down, three wickets for Steve. Is he going to get another five? For, can I join him? Yeah. Yes, I can. It's pitched short, but it kept low. Skidded on because of the wetness. And finally joining Steve at that bar. How you doing? Here's Steve's reaction to that yeah. wicket. <laughs> yes, they do. <laughs> so that's pumped down the ground for a few. Bats number four telling me he's batting outside his crease. Means I've got to pop it a bit shorter. Oh, well, old Steve whizzed past the edge again. Beautiful. Ah, oh, that's hit the pad. Oh, not out. Well kept out again. And another good batsman comes in. Flicks me two, three square leg. And I had no idea where Midon was. <laughs> I missed it anyway. Uh, two, three point. Well fielded Mayo on the boundary. Oh, just whistled past his edge. Oh, what a ball, Steve-O. That absolutely came in beautifully. Hit the top of middle. Bales went miles back. You are bowling so well. Steve, are you sure you haven't got a twin brother and you're actually on holiday <laughs> and he's took your place for the season? Oh, I've finally done what I've been trying not to do all game in the bowl of half volley on middle stump and it got what it deserved. Steve-O, final over. Oh, you're back. Uh, how was your holiday, Steve? <laughs> Four through cow. And that's the end of the spell for both of us. So slam dunks now on from the camera end. Bowling his mixture of hand grenades and lobbies and toe crushers and in cutters and away cutters and everything else. Oh, that's hit the outside edge. That's gone for two. So they're going to two, two and a half runs and over. So Kevros is on from the top end. Oh, what's that missing? Scotty said it's missing leg. Kev is our quickie. He's, uh, he plays the odd game here and there throughout the season when he's uh, available. 
Oh, Bob Bob snort up. And, and that's it to Mayo at points. That's it now, the six down. Come and wrap up this innings. Don't be chasing too many. Don't know what their bowling's going to be like. They are top of the league after all. Hit down the ground for off slam. Well, Bob Kev. Oh, kept that one out. And that's short wide and smeared through point. Oh, covers. Before, how oh, has he kept that out? <laughs> it was absolutely almost clean bowled. Another toe crusher from Kev. And slam, he's hit through covers and his one bounce over the rope. Slam, I was nowhere near it. Rain comes down again, so they're off for a few, uh, about 10 minutes. Chops another over off, so it's 30 over game now. <laughs> oh, it's missed everything. Two runs. That's in the air for a single down the ground. Oh, ball saved. Definitely saved four runs. So I think we've bowled quite well today. Not too many half volleys. Oh, another edge off slam. Two more runs. We've bowled good areas and hopefully we'll get these last few wickets. Get them all out for 60, 70 runs. It'd be quite nice. 30 overs to get. Oh, it's outside edge again. <laughs> slam can't believe it. Very loopy delivery. And Kev's back on. Oh, well saved again. This young lad can bat. And that's four through cow. Pace on the ball, gets quick to the boundary. Oh, a bowl slam. Gave it the big heave ho. Seven down now, five overs to go. So, left hander in now. The slam still bowling. We need to get the other guy out there who's been in since the start. He's been smacking it. Again, another nice shot through point for one. And drill down the ground to yours truly. And there's an edge there, and uh, Scotty's given him. We weren't actually sure if it hit the bat or the stump, but it was a wooden noise with a big deviation. It may have hit the stump, but Shane Batten and Falls just in the way. Anyway. Oh, I'll put one down. I was on the boundary. I ran in 10 metres thinking it was short, and it went over my head. And uh, four runs. Uh, that may get me a donkey nomination. As uh, Kev is continuing to bowl from the top end. Last few overs now. Slam dunk, finishing it off. One down the ground. So nine down now. Slam's got another wicket. Oh, well kept out. Yorkers, oh, he's a run out chance. Get back. Never a run there. Down the ground. And fumble, throw it in. Oh, they've gone for a second. Run out chance. Ah, oh, they've made it, an extra run. So that's it. Uh, we're chasing 93 to win off 30 overs. So it's Dan Bolter batting with Captain Stewie. Uh, ball down the leg side, didn't touch anything. Well kept out Stewie. Oh, and what a snorter that was. So these lads can clearly bowl. A bit of swing, a bit of pace. Good lines and lengths. That just kissed the deck, not the edge. Oh, lovely late cut, Dan. A nice through the square leg. Oh, oh that's gone straight through him. Not out, it's skimmed his thigh, says Scotty. Lovely shot down. And Stewie paddling around the leg side for a few. Every run matters today. Oh, four down the leg side. Yes, you don't bother to Stewie. He loves that shot. He also loves the cut. He just missed out there. And he loves to drive, but he just missed out there. That's how he do it. Shot, Stewie. Nice dab from Dan. Good partnership brewing from these two. Good foundations for the innings. Lovely shot, Stewie. That was my shot of the day for me. Timed through backward point for four. So low totals can be tricky, but these two are making lovely work of this opening bowling pair. Four more through square leg from Dan. And swatted by Stewie. What can go wrong? These two are looking in fine form. That was past the edge. Well left, Stewie. Another Stewie dab for. Love it. So we've got uh, these two going well. I'm sitting next to Slam Dunk at the table. And he says to me, yeah, these two are going to get us there. Nothing can go wrong. And then Scotty gives, <laughs> gives Captain Stewie out LBW. So we're one down. So Mokarim is in at number three. 
And he yeah. straight away spoons one to the covers. We're two down. Oh, no. We're going to have the usual Walton middle order collapse. Hopefully not. So uh, we've got Mayo in at number four. And we've got another OBW shout. And Scotty's raised his finger again. He can't even look Mayo in the eye. That's it now. We're four down. 30 to win. So we've got uh, Kevros in at number five. He can hit the ball quite hard, as you can see there. Lovely wristy player. Semi-professional hockey player, I think. But you don't play a sweeping hockey, that's for sure, because Scotty's giving him out. Kev says, oh, he's hit my glove. He's going down leg side. But you've got to go, Kev. So, six down. Dan Bolt is still there. Doing the Kawaja roll, anchoring the innings. Batting with Karoom at the far end. Can they get it over the line? Left arm around the wicket. Lovely shot that is from Karoom. Four through point. Relieves a bit of pressure. And two more down the leg side. Oh, well kept out. Oh, just beat the off stump. Beat the edge. So much tension. Oh, Stewie's on the sideline again. He can't watch. Dan, lovely dab again for a few. Oh, lovely straight driver well, as well, Dan. Like it. And Karoom. Misfield through the covers. Get there for a single. And lovely flick of the wrists over mid off, four runs. Yes, and lovely swiveling pull. That's it, we won. We've beat top of the league. Ah, they're still just above us though. But who is Donkey of the Week? Mm, pizza. Donkey of the Week. Can I just say to everybody, I want you to think who you're going to nominate. Yeah, Th it. Think, think about what they've done, not who the person is and what you think we of that person. That. So think of that before you make your decision. Still. Nominations are Ash, who didn't play today, who called off an hour before the game because he forgot about a wedding, which means we don't actually have a donkey hat to present today. Okay, we have the bison for a catch that uh, came to me, which I misjudged, which went slightly over my head and went for four. How can you be on the bounds on it? Both hands go forward it. to it and it goes for a four over your head. Both hands. Because I misjudged it. <laughs> it smashed to me as well. Unfortunately, we've got Ted there for suggesting we should have batted first. Okay. We have Ed for, for saying we should have batted first when it was clearly rainy, on off, on off, and would have been clearly better to bat second. As well as for wearing three quarter length trousers because he brought the wrong trousers this and week. And then changed them to the ones that he looked like he'd had an accident in. And then changed them to the ones where he looked like he'd had a, a rear accident in. And I tripped up a step on the way into the pub. Votes for for Ed. Oh my god. <laughs> this is a this is a joke. Votes for Ash. Votes for Ash. Oh you fucking. Oh, votes for me, surely. Yes, 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 yes. Me. I am the donkey of the week. Ashes was a dolly. What did a donkey say? Eeyore. So here's the league table. We're second. Maha still top. They've got a few bonus points in that game, but we're right on their tails. Looks like two from four going up this year. GNG, Barwell, Maha or Walton on the walls. Who will it be? The tension is unbearable. See you guys next week. Thanks for watching.